Hey, the Washington football fans. So, the Washington football team is trying to move Landon Collins. They are putting him up on the trade offer block and seeing if they can get anything in return. It almost sounds like, though, that they're they're even going to pay <laughs> pay somebody to take Landon Collins. There was talks of, you know, throwing in some money to kind of sweeten the deal. I don't know what you're going to get back in return. I mean, you know, maybe some draft picks, probably lower round draft picks, I would imagine. I mean, let's face it, Landon Collins overall has not been as advertised whatsoever. He is he's pretty much filled at safety for us. Move him to linebacker, and he has played really well at linebacker. I mean, I understand that he's probably taken more of a beating, uh, you know, being closer to the line, but at the same time, he's played well. He's made so many great plays when he's playing the linebacker position, but that's not where Landon Collins wants to be. And if a player is not happy, then you don't need him here in Washington, right? So I don't know if they're going to be able to move him, honestly, because this is something that probably should have happened. I don't re really remember when the trade um, the trade window started, but they probably should have offered him up at that point. Maybe that would have made him look a little, or made the Washington football team look a little desperate to get rid of him. I don't know. But I just think that trying to offer him up now, I don't know if you're going to get that many suitors. You, you might, but I just, uh, I think it's going to wind up costing the, the football team probably more to get rid of him than to just go ahead and keep him and then maybe, you know, try to trade him or in the off season. I don't know how it's going to work out, but we will know something by 4 o'clock this afternoon. So if Landon Collins has not been moved by then, he's not going to be moved. I don't think the Washington football team is going to outright cut him after that point. Other, you know, things that Ron Rivera talked about in his uh, conference yesterday, uh, he was talking about how what he learned in the military is that it takes three to five years to change futility and culture. All right. A lot of fans certainly were up in arms over that because they have seen other teams basically go from zero to hero within a year or two. And I've seen that too. So, you know, while I want to believe that what Ron Rivera is saying is true, at the same time, you do see these other teams that are pretty much, <clears throat> you know, some of the worst teams in the NFL, and then suddenly they're one of the better teams, if not one of the best teams in the NFL. And and they go from this to, it did not take them, at least it did not appear to take them, you know, three to five years to do this. Um, I mean, you look at Tampa Bay, before they brought Tom Brady in the fold, you know, Tampa Bay, I thought, was kind of starting to head downward, honestly. I mean, uh, you know, Tampa Bay, uh, it seemed like they were at a point where when Jameis Winston first got drafted and playing there, they might have been on the up and up, and then all of a sudden it looked like they started spiraling. Now, they weren't the worst team, I guess, in the NFL, but they were not a good team. And then all of a sudden, you bring in Tom Brady, and you have other, um, you know, he helps bring in some other players and suddenly they're Super Bowl champions within, you know, a couple of years. So who knows? I mean, <clears throat> I I want to believe what Ron Rivera is saying is true. And normally it probably is. I mean, but, you know, you got to date back to, I always go back to the Dallas Cowboys before that their dynasty in the 90s. And, you know, yeah, they were like 1-15 in 15 in the first year with uh, Jimmy Johnson. But the thing is, they steadily improved. And <clears throat> I forget what year that was. I think that was like 1989. And honestly, by 91, they were a playoff team. 91, 92, maybe. Uh, maybe it wasn't 91. But um, still, it felt like that 
you could see, while it may have taken them three years or so, definitely took them five years to get to the Super Bowl since, uh, you know, when, when they first started this rebuild with Jimmy Johnson. Uh, but at the same time, you saw improvements every single year. You saw uh, additions that would later on uh, serve as, as players in their dynasty of the 90s. So, you know, saying that, it's like, you can believe it if we started off last year and we were like, you know, four and, what, four and 12, and then, you know, maybe this year we end up, uh, was it going to be seven and 10? And, you know, you're seeing, okay, well, they won a few more games, so they're they're getting better. You know, the product is getting better on the field. But, you know, so far, it looks like we've taken a step backwards. I mean, honestly, we're, we were, what, two and six, uh, maybe, or two and four? Maybe we were two and four last year, and then we kind of started to run. I, I don't really remember. I didn't think we were two and six, but we may have been, actually. And then, of course, you know, we wound up winning five more games uh, toward the end of the season and clinched the division with a losing record. Now, I guess that is the biggest thing we have to keep in mind as fans is that last year we had a losing record. We were seven and nine. Uh, so, you know, normally you don't win the division at seven and nine. So having said that, you know, where we're at right now, yeah, you definitely say, well, we haven't improved. I mean, if we wind up winning only seven games again this year, there's no marked improvement on the field. You can't, you know, there's no tangible, well, look at the overall record. We're still a seven-win team. And so far this year, we may not even make seven wins. So it's hard to, as a fan right now, to see what Ron Rivera is seeing I'm trying to be patient. Uh, some fans are not. Uh, media, I think sports media in the D.C. area tend to not be as forgiving. You know, you know I mean, they're, they're not probably like New York media, but, you know, the, the, uh, the, the media is going to try to poke and prod Ron Rivera on certain things. And, and, you know, so they don't have the patience either. But the fans definitely don't have the patience. I mean, my goodness, you look at this team, you know, besides, you know, a decent season here and there, this team has not had 10 wins since, what, Joe Gibbs? No, no, no I take that back. It, it was uh, Mike Shanahan, uh, the 2012 season, uh, Robert Griffin III's rookie season. That was our last 10 and 6 season, but we have not won more than 10 games since our Super Bowl year back in 1991. Can you believe that? It's been that long since we have uh, been over that 10 win mark, and we have not even hit the 10 win mark, but what a couple of times or so, maybe three times since that point. So, yeah, I mean, this team is dried up in terms of hope and you know Ron Rivera may be right you know it may take three to five years to get rid of the futility because you know notice he said that along with culture he didn't just say to change the culture because honestly I think he has changed the culture and and I say that and I know that you're going to go back and say well no 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 wait a minute what about all this investigation and all of this other stuff well keep in mind that's not anything that has new that was new that happened since ron rivera since jason wright and all of them that that is like lingering stuff that has happened before all those guys got here so you know they're still dealing with that stuff and you know so it may take a few years because you've First of all, football can be just as much a mental game as a can of physical games. It's definitely a physical game, but you got to have the mental aspect of this as well. And you can have the best players on that field, but if mentally as a team, they still just don't believe that they can 
be a winning team and a winning franchise, it's not going to happen. And you have to erase that. You have to erase that mentality. You have to erase that mentality in the front office, which I hope I want to say that Washington has done. And you have to erase that mentality <clears throat> with, with the coaching staff, with the players, and eventually with the fans. But for the fans, they have to have something tangible to see. They 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 got to be able to see, pro, you know, um, progress on the field. And if they are not seeing the progress on the field, the fans are not going to just all of a sudden say, "Okay, I believe this team is going to be great." Now, me personally, I have about as much patience as as I think anybody can have with this team. I've already realized that no matter how bad it gets, I still have this urge and desire to watch every game because I just feel like I'm missing the turning point. You know, I'm just missing something. You know, certainly when I do watch the game, I'm like, wow, well, you know, I wasted three hours for this, but, you know, I don't see myself ever switching to any other team unless that somehow the Washington football team got dissolved. Maybe if they moved, um, who knows? Even then, I don't know. Um, so I think folks, my whole point is, I know I keep saying be patient. It looks bad right now. You know, Ron Rivera says it's always darkest before the, the or the bleakest or darkest before the dawn or something like that. And, um, it's a little cliche, I, I think, and, you know, right now, us Washington fans are like, it's been bleak for a long time, Ron, all right? We want to see this dawning. We want to see the sun come up on this franchise, right? Uh, we're, we're tired of losing, and so that is the, the biggest thing. We're tired of losing. Um, let's see what happens in, in the next... Well, let's see what happens by 4 o'clock today. Let's see if Landon Collins gets moved. Um, let's all take a good break from football, maybe. Uh, spend a little bit more time with our family. And if you do watch football, just pick a football game you're not really interested in, per se, you know, with the teams, and just sit back and enjoy the sport as it is. Um, and then we will regroup and see what this team does against Tampa Bay next week. All right, folks, like, share, subscribe to this channel if you possibly can. I really appreciate it. Um, for some of you fans or supporters who have been around uh, since the beginning, uh, basically this time last year, uh, you will see that my videos have been a little more unprofessional, unedited, um, leaving all of my ums and uh, you know, trip ups with words in and all of that. And I've explained it in other videos. I'll just explain it again real quickly. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm trying to shoot these videos real quick and get them out to you on a daily basis. Um, since I have a full-time job, I don't have time to actually edit a video every single day. I'm at least trying to get something raw out to you just to talk with the other fans and, you know, just, just to at least stay in the know on a daily basis because it's fun. I enjoy it. And plus, because I'm, tr I'm trying to keep this channel going and I am working on some videos that hopefully you guys will enjoy that will be prof professionally done and you guys will enjoy that. It's coming down pike. Anyway, you guys take care. I'm out of here.